Christmas is almost upon us. We're heading into the first full-fledged weekend of December, and we're going to bring you the program, the Comic-Con forecast, the only program that tells you what's going on this weekend, and this week's special because we actually have something midweek to talk about. My name is Mr. Anderson. I am the Unboxable Advocating Indie Devil, and you can find me at Mr. Anderson. Dot com. All right, and that's M-R, not M-I-S-T-E-R. So we're going to talk about what's going on. We're going to start right away, jump into it in Ocean City Comic Con. Now, that's happened in Maryland. My boy, Chris Med, who we work together on different projects, is going to be there 7th through the 9th. So that means starting tomorrow. He's going to have some amazing stuff, and that's going to be happening at the Ronald E. Powell Convention Center. Now, my friend... Jeff Whiting and my friend Sean Delaney are both going to be at the Nashville Comic and Horror Festival, and they also call it a Nashville comic. And I found this weird about this con. It's listed twice. It's also listed as the Nashville Comic Book and Toy Show. It has two different things going on, and it's celebrating an anniversary. I, I've never seen a show have a dual personality that's lasted for, two, for <coughs> I believe they were saying, 25 years of dual personality. I mean, maybe it's just a way to promote them differently. I don't know. It's crazy, though. Uh, it's going to be going on the 8th through the 9th. That's this weekend, so check it out. And that's in Tennessee, and of course, that's Nashville, Tennessee. So that that's exciting. Um, and then in uh, we're going to switch over to Across the World in... Uh, Delhi, India. It is going to be the G2 Delhi Comic Con. That's December 7th, 8th, and 9th, starting probably in a few hours, actually, because they're ahead of us. Uh, I, Rahil, for, for those of you who don't know, this is Rahil Moshin's uh, Comic Con. He's been blowing up in India. We're working on Cat Dad and Super Mom, so I'm super excited. Because I know he's been talking about it over there. He's been getting great responses. <coughs> we are super stoked to get started. We're officially starting in January. He's got to finish his road tour because it's busy over there. I believe it's summer over there, if I'm not mistaken. They have different seasons than us for those who aren't aware. Uh, and I am super excited to announce that he's going to be here the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Does some great stuff. He's going to have his books. And my favorite is the Blame It on uh, Raheel. That, that, that's the book right here. So very, very cool. I always love to bring the international Comic Cons to you guys. And Ming Chen is going to be at the All-Star Comic Con party at the pub. Now, this is going to go towards charity. It's why we gave him a little bit of a bigger berth on our screen this week. Plus, there wasn't a lot going on on the West Coast or Midwest. <coughs> <coughs> Um, and you're going to see in a minute when we go to the con the convention scene, there's not really a lot going on, which is expected for this time of year, but still excited to be doing it. We're going to talk about some great things in a few minutes of the future of this program. But right now, let's head over to convention scene. Our affiliate, who has been helping us out all year, and we'll continue that relationship into 2019. And I really hope you guys are looking at this to plan your Comic-Cons in the future as well. This is a great material uh, site or a uh, mining site to figure out where you might want to do a Comic Con next year. Uh, the only thing I think they got wrong is this one, and I I just think that that's force of habit. That this used to be a show, but they, I don't believe it's going to be here, and we're going to double check that. But for the most part, they are very very accurate. Um, all right, I don't think that this is a thing anymore. It used to be Paradise City, but they've canceled it, and. Uh, I think they're starting another show somewhere else, is the rumor. We shall see. A lot going on with Supercon. We're going to talk about that in a few weeks. We're not there yet. So I am excited to announce that Sam the Seo Paulo is having a Comic-Con experience in CCXP. I, the reason I'm excited is I have never really seen a Brazil show too often. So I'm always glad to see that it's now becoming more frequent because I've noticed that. And, of course, uh, that's always exciting. That started today, and we were talking about this earlier on Facebook, for those of you on YouTube who didn't get to catch it. And that's the 6th of the night, so it's a pretty big show, four-day show. Now in New Delhi, the Delhi Comic-Con, we talked about Rahil Moshin, who you guys, Mo, Moshin, are, are going to be the 7th through the 9th, and uh, it's a very cool uh, that we're seeing Comic-Cons pop up in India. That is so awesome. I'm so excited about that. 
Back here in the States, we have a couple shows to talk about. We have um, Monroeville. That's Steel City Comic Con in Pennsylvania. I love Pennsylvania. I hope the weather holds up because I heard there might be a storm. Please be careful. 7th through the 9th, that's going on at the uh, Monroeville Convention Center. So if you guys are in PA, and I should ask my uh, my good friend Michael Metlin if he knows what's going on with the Steel City Comic Con because he should be doing shows like that. On the 8th will be the Madison Heights Great Lakes Expo in Michigan. That's going to be at the United Food and Commercial Workers place. I, I, I don't know what to say other than place. Uh, and on 12-8, the San Jose Super Toy and Comic Book Show is going to be going on in San Jose, California. It's a one-day event, and that'll be at the Santa Carla County Fairgrounds. And finally, in North Carolina, and again, please be careful with the weather, Hilton Garden in Raleigh is going to be home for a Raleigh comic book show on the 9th. And I believe the 9th, if I'm not mistaken, is Sunday this weekend. And I'm going to double check for you wonderful people. Yep, that's Sunday. So that's really it. You're going to see in the coming weeks, there's not a lot. Next weekend, there's all of one show listed. The following weekend, once again, one show listed. And then we start to see the inevitable picking up of we're back into 2019. So that's it, guys. Uh, I feel like this is almost our last show of the year. I'm not exactly sure we're going to see anyone next week. We might not be filming one next week because, I mean, literally here, I only see Atlanta Comic Con. And I don't know anyone who's doing that one as of right now. We just might be doing this as a two-minute show next week to talk about this. And then literally Christmas weekend, the weekend before, I, I call it Christmas weekend because I think people will pretty much be cashing in this weekend and taking the the travel time. It's going to be a crazy weekend. There's only something in India. And I got to ask Rahil if he's going to be at this one. But then that's it. And then there's one show, two shows in between the new year, and then that's it. I'll be starting up. Um, actually, I'm an idiot. Next weekend, I actually have a show. I'm, I'm talking like I don't have a show next weekend. So there will be a Comic-Con uh, forecast next week because I have a show. How exciting is that? I'm back on the road. I, I, I just, I, what can I say? I love talking about comic books. All right. So Tommy Sharp said, uh, you're going to any next year? Did uh, my comic show? Yes, Tommy. And I'll give you guys, uh, I'm going to give you guys a little insight. And I'm going to, I'm going to show something cool and all right let's do it i'm gonna i'm gonna show you guys something that that i haven't shown anyone yet and you guys are gonna get the first look and that's just me you guys have seen me and you can see i'm getting my my beard on my uh winter beard where i just kind of let it grow and it's getting a little wild um i'll probably have to tame it for the uh coming shows but it's been getting a little wild on me so we're gonna go to all window so i want to show you guys something all right you ready so this is the regular Comic-Con highway, so we're going to open something. And, uh, you know, we'll do open recent. Open recent. All right, here it is. I'm going to give you guys a look at my schedule as it is. I have to add two shows to this, so I'm adding a show in i believe it's january right here i'm going to be at a lakeland show and i'm adding a september show oh ancient city is actually there okay so i already added an ancient city that was where the chevy chase was so because tommy asked i might as well plug myself here's how i'm looking january i'm going to have one show uh february looks like we're only going to be doing one show comic-con revolution this is to give me time to really write as of right now, March is C2E2. I'm still debating it. That's why it's in yellow. I have not committed to a plane ticket yet. With Jack's being in school, I do not have the luxury of driving to everything like I did last year. April, I am looking to fill with possibly a show or two. Nothing major, because again, Jax is in school. Then you're going to see Three Rivers, Megacon, and Big Easy. Uh, Big Easy, I'm, I'm kind of feeling like they haven't responded, and that's not going to happen. Um, I did apply for it. It's just not looking like it's in the cards, which is okay because All Star Comic Con is the following weekend. And I'm trying not to, if you notice right away, I'm not having back to back weeks anymore. The only time it happens is Three Rivers. And I love Three Rivers. So I was very excited. 
Um, then it's All Star Comic Con. I'm super excited for that. And this will actually be a double booked weekend. I'm going to try to get my sister to do my local show, move their Comic Con onto this weekend, which kills me. It's a one day show, but there's no way I can give up doing All Star. So I'm off to Virginia. And Jax will be out of school, believe it or not, because school ends in May. So we'll actually be able to take a road trip, maybe go see some family in Virginia. So I am super excited about that. Florida Super Con, July 4th through the 7th. Atlanta Comic Con, be one of the few times that I will have back to back, but Atlanta's not that far. And because it's not Dragon Con weekend, it might not be that expensive. So we're gonna we're gonna be on the road, then we're gonna do Raleigh. And you notice it's a little heavier right here, and that's because Jax is off the road. August Jax goes back to um uh, Baltimore's just doubled here. August Jax goes back to school, so that's why you see all of a sudden everything goes away. September is ancient city, just one show. New York Comic Con and Baltimore in October. And those are going to be two difficult shows to pull off right now. November, so far, nothing that will change. I'm sure there'll be a local show I'll do. And then we're in December. Now, this year, I will have Jacks for Christmas. So I definitely won't be doing anything Christmas week. But you never know. I mean, it's early enough that things can change. Um, I'll be adding things. So if you guys want me to add a show, if you guys want me to come see you in a show, just let me know. So now we're going to head back to, uh, where were we? Where were we? All right. So we were going to look at something special. So for those who don't know and are not subscribed to us, or if you're subscribed and didn't, were wondering why suddenly there were suddenly all these weeks of Comic-Cons, we are building the 2019 Comic-Con Highway. I'm going to take just a few minutes to explain. We are presetting every single week. So now when you guys know you've signed to do a show, just let us know. We're currently updating Dirk Manning showing up for the beginning of the year. Uh, my stuff is being put in here immediately where I'm going to be, where other people I know are going to be. We're putting things in. So I'm super excited about all of this uh, information being there in just a few Days will have completely uploaded the entire 2019 calendar. This is going to go in a way of removing anything. We took a vote last year about what the big cons were. So we have a list. And then when I'm done build, building the 2019 list, we're going to make sure that because we had everyone vote for it. So this is going to be our official top cons for 2019. And in 2019, we'll open up the vote for what the top cons will be in 2020. Now, this does not mean, and I want to stress this, that we won't, if we have enough creators going to a con, not open up a special uh, thread just for that. But for right now, as it stands, these are the, the cons that are getting their own exclusive threads as well, and we'll show them on the program. New York Comic Con, C2E2, San Diego, which I really was against, MegaCon Orlando, uh, Emerald City. And for those asking me, Megacon does not sound like they're doing Tampa Bay. It The word is, is that they're done with Tampa Bay. Wizard World, WonderCon, Tampa Bay Comic Con, which is why I think Megacon is lost out and they can't do it anymore. Dragon Con and the Fan Expo Dallas. These were the top 10 you picked. And here are the top five that showed up now i should stress that this was a vote that we will be adding probably other shows when there are enough people i know that right now th uh, three rivers has me dirk manning and mike metlin one more creator and we're gonna it, that's gonna be the basic thing four or more creators at a show the show will get its own thread so that's basically where I'm sitting at. Four or more creators gets that show, its own unique thread, which will have a lot more information. We'll try to take as much information as we can from the website and give it to you guys. But it has to earn that kind of prestige that enough creators are going. Does that make sense? So Grand Rapids Comic Con, Daytona Beach Comic Con, Rose City Comic Con, Alamo City Comic Con, and Planet Comic Con. And let me tell you, Planet Comic Con, if I remember the vote correctly, I don't remember if I actually linked it in here. Uh, oh, yeah. So I believe that, let's see if it still shows. It might not show. Okay. So there were 27 more options. And Three Rivers uh, doesn't even show up. But, I mean, you guys can see the voting that went on. So I was pretty proud of the fact that people turned into this. And we're going to be seeing it in 2020. And that's the whole point is I want you guys to be 
involved in this. So the takeaway from our conversation right now is you guys have got to tell me where you're going to be so I can add you to the Comic-Con Highway already. The cool thing is as we're filling these out, they will absolutely be reflective of other areas. What I mean by that is that the 2019... So I really wanted to, to unclutter the site in 2019. That's why not every show is going to get its own thread because it gets messy. So now in January, like perfect example, we'll do this week. See how this week's up here, December 7th. So everywhere that December 7th is going to be is now tagged in the different areas that it is. So if we went to international, it would show it. And if we went to the Northeast, there's, of course, a Northeast show. If we went to Midwest, it wouldn't be there. I think Southern would have it. Tennessee, I believe, is a Southern exit. So you guys get the point. It's, it's very interactive. So there are going to be different places. You as a person visiting our site can look at these different areas. You can look at the entire calendar year. If you're deciding, well, I, which Comic-Cons do I want to do? We're going to give them to you as soon as we know about them. As soon as we, and of course, we cover everything where a creator is going to be. So as a creator, the quicker you tell us where you're going to be, the quicker people can make a plan to visit you. So that's it. Uh, I do feel like we're wrapping down the year. I think that we did really good in developing this program. I am sorry that I missed one week of doing it with my throat. We did have the actual uh, thread, but I had a, uh, for those who don't know, I had a vocal problem. So it was very uh, much time for me to let myself heal. I don't see any other comments, so I'm just going to head off and encourage you guys to make your plans now. Make sure at this time of year you guys are checking forecasts to make sure that you're not in all endangering yourself with uh anything that has to do with weather and traveling for a comic-con please be safe we will see you next week for the comic-con forecast and this is brought to you by indieadvocates.com my name is mr anderson and you can follow me at mr m r a n d e r s i n dot com or on facebook on my page or my personal uh, profile. Thank you for tuning in and happy holidays.